We space is so pretty. Gladys, will you just go somewhere already? Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh. Ooh, pretty buttons. Not the pretty buttons. Ooh, what is this thing? I don't know. It's not important. It. Oh, bio has e dirted scan. Uh oh, I'm corrupted. Ah, uh, 25%. That's almost a quarter. That is a quarter. Oh, okay. Now push the shiny thing. That shiny thing? No, not that. <sighs> Okay, fine. Pop. Goodbye, planet. Bro. Brio. Hello, planet thing. Alicia. Alleluia. Blah blah. Sure. This place is cool looking. Coordinates to you now. Proceed with caution. Gore's whereabouts and disposition are still unknown. Well, he's probably gonna try to kill me anyway. is a creature. That's interesting, a creature that gives you log stuff. Yep. I am Elysian, descendant of both the Chozo and the First. I am facing the last moments of my life and transferring my memory to the data pod. In a way, our chronicle begins nearly 1500 years ago. That was when our noble creators, the Chozo, began to build that which would become our home. A place of exploration and knowledge floating in the clouds of the planet Elysia. A fitting home for its great Chozo builders. 
They built many linked hovering pods. In time, they formed a net in the skies across the globe, instruments peering out in all directions, studying the cosmos. We did not exist then. Only the Chosa walked through these hallowed halls. To the distant stars they looked, and a great many things they discovered, including that which would later spell grim disaster for all. Ooh, what's the grim disaster for all thing? I don't know. Look at the peaceful sky stuff. This place is very relaxing. Uh, where's the walkways? Oh, if only it could be that easy. Oh, what are you talking about? Doesn't seem too bad. Now that was the easy one. Uh oh. Looks like we found enemies. Or you found enemies. Very easy though. starts off easy and then it gets not so easy Oh goody, another lore scan. Gift. Several decades passed for the Chozo here at Elysia. Elysia. The harsh winds and storms began to take their toll on this Dishashan, and upkeep began to take up more and more of their precious Tibay. Seeing a need for assistance, they created us, the first Elysian, built by Chozo hands. Stepped out of the mechanic. 
one a lot of years ago. Crude by our current standards, the first was soon given the greatest gift of all the Chozo. To better assist the creators, the first was given self-awareness. Why do I let you read these? I have no idea. To all other Elysians, the first shared the Chozo gift. This event marks year one of the Elysian Reckoning. Ominous. Be thing floating out of nowhere. Oh, look, cannon. We boom. was a very easy missile expansion. It is, isn't it? Not doing good at this. What am I doing wrong? Maybe you should try not shooting it. Play this, that is not going to work. How do you know if you never try it? Aha! That's what you had to do. Shoot badly. <laughs> Just stop talking. Another very easy missile expansion. Is a super missile coming up or something? I don't know, probably. That's just mean. Yeah. Well, I don't have the spider ball stuff. You have a really annoying boss to fight before you get that. 
No, not really. At least I don't think I do this time. Oh. Well. Oh, hey, it's that thing that's been slowly disappearing and reappearing. Seems like a very simple boss. I don't know if it can even be counted as a boss. There's no health bar for it. Sure, you're doing this right. Energy tank, yay. Those are usually good. Usually? Don't they always be? I don't know. Oh, that's because you're dumb. Yes, I is BR. Pretty easy. Yeah, well, it wasn't really a boss, so. The Chozo were watchers, studying the depths of space tirelessly to quench their thirst for knowledge. From this facility, they launched observation satellites, firing them into the heavens towards distant worlds. These satellites returned information that allowed them to analyze the various phenomena occurring across the cosmos. Through this process, they were able to satisfy their intellectual appetite, one planet at a time. One day, a Chozo searcher happened upon a very rare discovery. A once thought lost satellite delivered information on a distant world. It was incredibly far away, even by Chozo reckoning. Study of the stellar object revealed that it was in many ways a planet, yet also sentient. Alive. This chance event was brief, and the information being collected was lost before the true identity of the planet was revealed. Ooh. That's... um... ominous. It is, isn't it?
Well, that's handy. Yes. Uh... Duh. I confused you. Oh, be quiet. La 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 la. This really shouldn't work. My hand looks nothing like that. Do do do. Hello, little brain thing. That's not good. We found Gore's suit. But where's Gore? Who knows? Who cares? Something like that. Yes, bananas is clearly a reason to do something.
Oh. Okay, well I can't do anything here yet. Again, if you thought it was the wrong way, why would you go this way? Ooh, look, a lore scan. In the year 400 of Allegra Reckoning, Reckoning. The time for our Chozo creators to leave had arrived. To us they entrusted the station and its purpose. We were to stand vigil and watch over the station until the time when others seeking knowledge and enlightenment arrive at the dead. With their departure came one last request from the Chozo searcher. To continue exploring the skies for answers to the mysterious planet. We gave her our word and resumed her tireless search. Day after day we hunted for the answers she desperately sought, but our efforts yielded nothing. We failed. Yeah, well, this was the wrong thing. So, uh... This way must be the right way. Something just powered up. What's going on? Stuff is starting to creep me out. Why is everything shaking so much? How should I know? Might have to do with Gore. Gore's not alive. No, but he is mechanical, and this is a mechanical area. Missiles, even though I'm not really up to the point where I use them. Uh, I don't think I should be doing this. You guys, get out of here. I don't think I'm going back anytime soon. Heh, <laughs> stylish kill. No, oh, oh well. Final 
open up. And dropping all the barriers. Yay! Oh, I ran out of space. It's just jerkish. By the year 600, we of Elysia were low on critical supplies and fuel. We created smaller mechanoids to process fuel from the atmosphere of Elysia, but they proved unable to produce a sufficient supply. Unable to secure the necessary resources to sustain ourselves, we entered a state of hibernation to preserve our re remaining stores of energy and parts. While we slumbered, the data collected by the station's equipment was fed to us in dreams. During this long period of sleep, we had many dreams. Countless event great events came to us, including a reunion with our creators, who had come to call a new planet their home. It was not long before disaster struck. A stellar object hit planet Talon IV, bringing with it a catastrophic, bleh, catastrophic corruption that sent the Chozo world into chaos. We watched helplessly as our creators perished, the few survivors fleeing to an unknown location. Powerless we slept, and in our dreams we lamented the deaths of our creators. This was our final vision, after which we were never able to see our creators again. That Turkish meteor! It caused so much damage! Why do I have a feeling a boss is coming up? Oh, 
Oh, very nice for you. something there will help you gain access to Unit 217. Here are the coordinates. I don't need the coordinates. That is the one I just finished scanning. Well, that was predictable. Hello. Want that armor. Yeah, well, you don't get to use that armor. Oh, well, why not? Because that's when you turn evil and kill everyone, I guess. Does that mean I become Dark Samus? Yes. Ooh, I should do that more often! No. No, you should not.
on, take him down. Energy. And now we can 